Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia. It's a new day, it's a new month, and today's new category will be It Happened in May. This is a 21-question trivia quiz about events that took place during the month of May. This is episode number 487. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and good luck on today's quiz. Question 1. After hundreds of years of various hostilities, on May 1st, 1707, under the Acts of Union, what two kingdoms united together as a single sovereign state known as Great Britain? The answer is England and Scotland. Question 2. After previously winning the prize for his 1947 play, A Streetcar Named Desire, in May of 1955, what popular playwright won the Pulitzer Prize again, this time for his play, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? His name is Tennessee Williams. Question 3. Even though the holiday was not created or declared by Lucasfilm, many Star Wars fans across the world have chosen to celebrate Star Wars Day annually on what cleverly chosen date? The answer is May 4th, as in May the 4th, be with you. Question 4. On May 3rd, 1960, with the restoration finalized, the museum opened to the public at the house where Anne Frank hid from Nazi persecution with her family and four other people in what European city? The answer is Amsterdam. Question 5. First issued on May 1st, but not valid until May 6th of 1840, what country was the first in the world to issue an adhesive postage stamp for use in a public postal system? The stamp was the penny black and the country was the United Kingdom. Question 6. One of the best known figures in aeronautical history, what was the name of the American aviator remembered for the first non-stop solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean from New York City to Paris on May 20th through the 21st in 1927? His name was Charles Lindbergh. Question 7. What 25-year-old Oxford University medical student won a one-mile race with a time of 3 minutes and 59.4 seconds on May 6, 1954, becoming the first person in the world to officially run a sub-4-minute mile? The answer is Roger Bannister. Question number eight. On his second voyage to the West Indies, Christopher Columbus, the European explorer, officially set foot on and claimed for Spain what island country on May 5th, 1494? The answer is Jamaica. Question 9. On May 14, 1796, 
What man, now called the father of the modern vaccination, successfully tested his hypothesis by inoculating his gardener's son with cowpox, thus protecting him from smallpox? The answer is Edward Jenner. Question 10. On May 2nd, 1969, what iconic British ocean liner set off on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York, taking four days, 16 hours, and 35 minutes? The answer is the Queen Elizabeth II. Question 11. On May 17, 1875, the horse Aristides and his rider Oliver Lewis crossed the finish line ahead of the rest of the field at the first ever occurrence of what popular annual horse race? The answer is the Kentucky Derby. Question 12. On May 27, 1937, pedestrians and roller skaters were the first to try out what new bridge that the next day with the push of a telegraph button, President Franklin Roosevelt opened to vehicle traffic as well. That bridge was the Golden Gate Bridge. Question 13. On May 31, 1916, the only major encounter between the main British and German battle fleets in World War I fought the Battle of Jutland in what sea about 60 miles off the west coast of Denmark? The answer is the North Sea. Question number 14. The first ever Academy Awards ceremony took place on May 16th in 1929 at a private dinner held at what hotel in Los Angeles, California? The name of that hotel was the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Question 15. May 5th, 1821, Napoleon Bonaparte, the former French ruler who once ruled an empire that stretched across Europe, died as a British prisoner on what remote island in the southern Atlantic Ocean? That island was St. Helena. Question 16. The Constitutional Convention, which resulted in the creation of the U.S. Constitution, began on May 25, 1787, in the Old State House, now known as Independence Hall, in what East Coast American city? The answer is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Question 17. On May 26, 1927, Henry Ford and his son Edsel drive the 15 millionth unit out of their factory, marking what famous automobile model's official last day of production? The answer is the Ford Model T. Question 18. On May 8, 1945, 
both Great Britain and the United States, as well as formerly occupied cities in Western Europe, celebrated VE Day. What do the initials VE stand for? The answer is victory in Europe. Question 19. What is the name of the international song competition whose inaugural contest took place at the Teatro Cursal, a casino and former theater in Lugano, Switzerland on May 24, 1956? May 24, 1956 was the inaugural Eurovision Song Contest. Question 20. About one month after Yuri Gagarin and the Soviets made it, on May 5, 1961, flying in a Mercury spacecraft with just enough room for one person, what NASA astronaut became the first American in space? The answer is Alan Shepard. Welcome to Road Trip Trivia, the once a day trivia quiz from beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Now by the time I received this submission into the entry challenge, all the slots had already been filled. But when I saw how pretty it was there, what a good video, I thought, well how can I not post that? So here's a shot from the Lake of the Ozarks. Thank you for sending that in, guys. Sorry it didn't get in in time to make it into the challenge. Uh, next time we do a quiz, everybody remember to send it in quick as possible because this time, although we got off to a slow start, eventually did fill up the whole slate of the alphabet. And we have actually a couple other videos that I'll be posting in the next couple of days as well because we had a few submissions that came in after the entries were filled. Here's question 21 for today. The tiebreaker. Between the 26th of May and June 4th of 1940, some 340 Allied troops were evacuated from what French seaport back to England? The name of that French seaport was Dunkirk. Thank you guys for watching, check back tomorrow, and have a good weekend.